10 years ago, I wrote a book on three-minute e-learning, which was focusing on micro-learning. Now, it's taken a while, maybe about seven, eight years for people to catch on with the idea. Of course, there are other people talking as well about micro-learning. But here comes TikTok. You're probably familiar. Right now, there's a lot of argument whether Microsoft and the government is interceding, buying out TikTok. Why is it so popular? Of course, you're familiar with the definition of TikTok. It's meant like it's lip syncing. It's almost like a karaoke. There's a music and somebody sings in it. So everybody's doing it. It is so viral. From a learning point of view, what I pick up is the following. Number one, I think TikTok allows people a self-expression. Now, since we cannot produce our own high-quality musical video, the next thing we can do is lip syncing it. And if we do it so easily, people are able to do it. Lip syncing allows people to express themselves, allows to entertain, in fact, allows to become part of a community and allows to impart the knowledge. One of the biggest principles we know that works in learning is one best way is to teach. You're learning something, you learn the skill, you learn the experience, and then you teach. So when you teach, you're actually making, magnifying your ability to retain and apply the knowledge of teaching. TikTok for me is like teaching somebody else by singing to them, by lip syncing to them. So if we exploit this idea that behind TikTok is the ability to teach, the ability to share, the ability to impart knowledge that we know, it is a potential vehicle for a lot of our learners down the road to be able to express themselves. So let's encourage expressing themselves and you need to test TikTok.